What is going on peeps, it's your boy Ellis now I have not made like a chill video in a while Like we're literally just sitting in my car just go for a drive and she just talk to the camera um, It's just like these days I think if I haven't got anything interesting to film that I can do some sick cinematics Then it's not very entertaining but This is kind of how my channel even started Just me like sitting and talking to a camera So today I wanted to go over some of the irritating things about my Cooper 280 so I'm not saying things I hate, I've already made one of those videos about one thing I hate which is just like the naming pros and stuff like 280, 290, 300 but that was that was all addressed in that video, I'll link it somewhere up there In this video I just want to talk about some things that irritate me on like a daily basis now as I said these are not things I hate, these are just things that are very irritating at times So we're going to start in here and then we'll probably go for a drive and I'll talk about some of the things that irritate me while I'm driving So the first thing on my list right so let's say I've parked up the car, went inside, came out, now I'm ready to go for a drive again. So I parked it where the driver's side is is to the curb. Um, so now I'm ready to drive off. So with these cars, the 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 passenger side door mirrors tend like if you have the switch selected over here where it's on the left, um the left is for adjusting the left mirror, right is for obviously, I mean middle is for adjusting nothing, and then right is for adjusting the right mirror. And if you put it up um up to I think this side then that means fold the mirrors blah 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 anyways um I so let's say now I'm ready to drive off but someone someone has parked closely in front of me so I can't literally just drive off I have to reverse a bit and get a bit of space so I can drive off so when I reverse then that mirror tends to go down now I would say this is irritating now if I leave the car if I leave it on the left side now I don't want every time I get in the car I'm have to go I'm gonna have to put it back and do that every time I'm parking that's just irritating you just want to leave it in one setting and that's it so as I was saying when I'm about to drive off I put it in reverse I have to go back gain a bit of space from the car in front of me and now that mirror goes down so when that mirror goes down you have to be going I think above 50 miles an hour before it comes back up so it goes down you reverse you gain some space now you're ready to go off and the mirror is down so you can't see what's coming from basically your blind side I mean yes you should obviously check behind you anyways I mean yes you should obviously check behind you anyways but like you, the mirror is like your first point of like checking like when you check your mirror then you can see if it's clear or not and sometimes you don't really have to check your blind spot now if you're a new driver then make sure you check your blind spot but once you're a pro like Mandem then you don't have to you always check your blind spot anyways as I'm saying so the mirror tends to stay down unless you're going about 50 miles an hour so you were looking and then you're seeing the ground and you literally can't see nothing so you pull out and you're like shit I can't see anything you look behind you and then if there's a car behind you then you can't see it's that much more irritating because you can't see any, you can't see anything so if there's a car parked behind you then it's that more, much irritating because you have to kind of like put your head out to see anything and as I'm saying these are things that I hate these are things that are irritating so that is the first irritating thing second thing that irritates me is when I'm parking on when I'm parking with the driver's side lining up with the curb so the curbs on this side and obviously this is the driver's side block so when I'm parking like this obviously I have a very low seating position I like sitting low because it just makes me feel I like sitting low <laughs> it just makes me feel like I'm more in a sports car kind of thing so I like sitting low um, so when you're sitting low then and you're, you're trying to park on this side then the mirror if you if you want to see behind it clear then obviously you have to adjust it differently so if you want to park so the visibility to see the curb is extremely not it's just not there so you're literally just looking like straight behind you and like you can't see like a wide area you can see down as well so because of that I've actually let's show you out here these wheels have been curbed a lot like it's literally 360 curbed everywhere so that one and also so that one and also the, I mean this one isn't that bad but they've got that massive one right there that is annoying that back one's 360 all the way around though so now obviously there is a simple fix for this you either forget convenience and park on the other side or adjust the mirrors every time that you want to park like putting it down so you can see the curb but the problem with that is if you put it down to see the curb then you have to put it back up and sometimes I forget and I put it down and then when I'm driving I'm like crap I can't see behind me I have to put it back up so that's really irritating you might say start moaning but then when I jump in my dad's car for example the mirrors on that are extremely wide enough where I can see literally every, like I don't have to adjust anything and you might say well I'm in a higher seating position but I literally put the seating position back down like as low as possible and I can still see everything 
So that is the second thing that irritates me about this car. The third thing that irritates me about this car, and I don't even know how much they are, I, can't, I haven't even counted, but I'll, I'll just go as, they, as I remember them. So the third thing that irritates me about this car, now this is not really something major ir irritating, it's only when I let my girlfriend drive at times and then I have to drive again. So to put this, so when my girlfriend drives, she puts the seat up a bit. So to put the seat up, you have to literally do that. And then that, this is like my girlfriend's seating position. So yeah, this is my girlfriend's seating position right here. So like, yeah, so, so after she drives, she often does not put the seat back the way I left it. And I had to put the seat back down, you'd think that all you have to do is hold it and it goes back down. But unlike my dad's car, which isn't like, yeah, it's a BMW, but it isn't like, as like I wouldn't say it's highly specced as this. this that, that should be, that, well, it is a BMW, so they're going to be highly specced. Anyways, this is a C, I can't really compare. But anyways, to put the seat back down, I have to do that. That is annoying. There we go. That's annoying. That is super irritating. Now, as I'm saying, as I'm saying, they're not things that I hate. I need to keep saying that. I don't hate them. I actually love this car. There's not, I'm literally just like forward picking right now. So they're not things that I hate. There's things that irritate me. So like, it's just irritating to have to do that. Like I just, I remember I, I literally went into a 290 the other day when we got that Scarpio exhaust fitted and he literally just pressed the button. I mean, yes, that's what I was going to say as well. Maybe the updated versions have adjusted these slight these issues slightly so when i went into the 290 he had a button that he pressed and it brought the seat forward brought the seat back and maybe up and down as well so obviously this being an earlier model that probably wasn't in there obviously it's not in there at the time so maybe the the, the 290 and the 300 have some of these things that i'm saying is irritating have those issues have those issues fixed but anyways, let's move on to the fourth thing that irritates me. Okay, so another thing that irritates me is this hazard button right here. Maybe all of these buttons along here, but especially this one. It seems to be the one that irritates me the most. Why? Because you know when you're driving and someone gives you way, like someone says, okay, someone flashes you to cut in the lane or whatnot, you tend to, that's like a thank you signal. Like you put that on, that's like a thank you signal amongst us drivers. So whenever i do that like sometimes i literally don't like doing this so i just i just stick my hand out the window like yeah thank you or put my hand through the sunroof and i'm like yeah thank you so the reason why it's irritating is because when you press it i don't know if this is just my car but if you press it like it sticks so like obviously i'm trying to get it to do what it does most of the times so that's it right there so it sticks in you can see because obviously you can see the edge right there so it sticks and then if you press it it doesn't come back out so i literally have the hazard lights flashing while i'm driving and it's really irritating and then to take it off i literally have to push this button in or push this side in and then use my nail to take it out and then obviously that might turn the traction control on or off if it's already off or something so that's another irritating thing now as i said i don't know if this is just my car where the buttons are sticky or it's a thing like um amongst other coopers as well let me know if it's something that um you guys have noticed if you have one I promise there's not a lot of irritating things left. I'll try and not find as many irritating things as I actually have. Anyways, I'm starting to notice this thing that is very annoying and irritating at the same time. So, obviously this is like, it's supposed to be like that right there. Um, when you focus it, it's supposed to be like that, which like the, the checkered flag kind of thing. But as you can see, it's kind of worn out. And obviously when I'm getting in my car, I'm not one to step right there or anything. So it's 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 it's, it's irritating <laughs> the fact that this is came off. Like it makes it seem like someone doesn't care the car. But as I said, I don't step on this or anything. It's just something that it just fades away over time. But my my thing is like, why didn't they design it where this is kind of like laminated? So this is like underneath like a laminated plastic or something, or I don't know, but not where it, it just comes off so easily because maybe i have to get another sticker to put that back on but it's it's just irritating like i don't want to see that i want it to be like that so it looks like i'm actually caring for my car let's look on the other side actually to see if it's the same thing uh, yeah it's the same thing on the other side it's not as bad as the driver's side damn this is it's not as bad as the driver's side but it's there anyways ah uh, yeah <sighs> okay, so now this irritating thing happens when I'm driving and let's show you. So 
obviously that's a slight hint right there so obviously I bought a DSG car for the obvious reason of fast gear change fast gear change fast gear change so when this when I stumbled upon this little irritating thing it was it was very irritating <laughs> so I'm gonna demonstrate slightly so hopefully I can get this timing right so I'm in second gear at the moment I changed gears before I, when, I, when my hand lit off I've changed gears already so I'm gonna try and say it so you can see how long it takes to change gears sometimes it takes like two seconds to change gears or maybe not that long but it seems like around two seconds look at that exactly what I mean that was very long I don't care what anyone said that was long that was extremely long let's go again so second That's just too long. Whenever I react, that's when the gears actually change to give you an idea. Gear change. Now we changed. That is long. That's like literally a second and a half. That is too long. It's not something that happens all the time, but it happens and I don't want it to happen. I want gear change like that. Like that's why I bought a DSG. I mean I can change gears faster than that if that's the case. I might as well have had a manual. Let's go again. So this time in first gear change gears now it changes see what I mean like I can change gears faster than that so yeah that's that's the the final irritating thing that irritates me about this car I mean as I've said before like I absolutely love this car so they're not things that I hate there's things that are irritating I've said irritating a lot there's a reason for that <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed my little irritating video It was probably as irritating to watch as it was to listen to this let, let go I'm gonna be generous today Yeah, so it's probably as irritating to watch me just rambling about irritating things But anyways, yeah, as I said, I don't really make a lot of videos like this anymore like I used to So I just, just driving and talking to a camera It's kind of where I started my channel When I started my channel, that's like something that I used to do a lot So it's kind of just refreshing to, 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 to do that again just to, to get that thing back I mean obviously you guys that subscribe long-term subscribers are used to this kind of stuff but anyways thank you guys for watching and tomorrow which is Friday when this video is uploaded so while you're watching this video we're collecting a new car tomorrow um, I'm collecting a new car tomorrow it's not my car but I'm collecting a new car tomorrow and Tonight, I think Lord Aleem's co collecting is Lamborghini Uterus. I'm calling it Uterus. I know it's not Uterus, but I'm calling it Uterus. So he's it's, it's, it's collect collecting his Lamborghini Uterus. Um, so I'm probably going to go down there and get that, film that collection video because it's going to be in the night. I like filming in the night. It's going to be in the night. And it's, uh, it's a brand new Lamborghini 4x4, so that should be interesting. Interesting. So yeah, that's probably gonna be the next two videos so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button leave a comment below like the video share do all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for all the love and all that fun stuff um, I would leave you guys with an acceleration but I'm on um, on the high street which isn't very sensible so yeah bye bye <laughs>